Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan and today we're hopping to another episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent, you guys. Uh, today's episode, we definitely have a... It doesn't affect the team too much with this upgrade, but it's definitely something and it's a card I always, always love in uh, any Madden. So I'm definitely excited to pick this uh, person up on the squad. But uh, what, what are you thinking about, about uh, the blue LED lights? Huh? Are, they, are they looking nice? Just go ahead and let me know. I'm definitely excited to kind of have those in the background thing it... I think it adds a nice layer, and then I also have um, a picture of Hilton Coliseum that my room got rearranged, and it was it was over here, so you guys couldn't see it. I'm sure you guys probably don't care about this stuff. I thought I was just going to go ahead and mention that. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be going ahead and pick up uh, one player, so let's go ahead and uh, add him to the squad. So we are going to go to the store uh, to get this guy, and it is obviously under the Zero Chill tab. And it's actually going to be one of the uh, hot Coco collectible players, so... I went ahead and uh, I saved my snow from uh, the last episode, and that's why. And I saved it to get this hot cocoa collectible. So let's just let's get that collectible. And uh, the player I went ahead and got is indeed Dion Jones. Now you guys are probably wondering why I'd be getting him because I already have you know Mills and Shazier, and the packages I run. He wouldn't he wouldn't be in there a ton, but uh, I just felt like it's a guy I wanted for some reason. I just I really wanted that card so. I'm probably going to run a little bit more like 3-4 or something like that to uh, get him in the game more because, you know, I spent 12,000 snow on him and, uh, I mean, he's a stud. And then obviously not not too long ago, I actually went ahead and got his um, power up and uh, his base elite. So I'm going to go ahead and power him up and then, uh, yeah, I'll show you the stats. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest, I did not expect his stats to be this good. 95 speed, 93 zone coverage, 93 tackling, 98 play rec. For this video, I'm going to put on Lurker, and he's going to be my user for today's episode. I mean, this card looks insane. Oh my god, like, I, I just thought he was going to be a nice little, you know, second linebacker that I could replace in Shaz when I run a little bit of 3-4 every now and then. But oh my god, this card looks insane. So, like I said, for the video, we're going to replace Sam Mills with Deion Jones and we're gonna see how things work so I'm gonna go ahead and activate um, Deion Jones obviously now one other guy I've been thinking about from uh, that promo is uh, what's his face uh, John o. Smith but my, my only problem right now is I already have so many good tight ends that it wouldn't exactly make a lot of sense so kind of let me know what you guys what your guys' thoughts on that are but uh, look at the squad obviously the offense has not changed you guys if you guys want to stop it see it there you go uh, defensively, which is obviously the new upgrade for today. Deion Jones, like I said, we gave him Lurker, as you guys just saw, and he will be the user for today's episode. And with him getting locked down, uh, we're now 46 out of 50, and uh, we actually improved to a 93 overall, and almost everyone got boosted another um, overall boost, I guess. And then special teams, another small upgrade. If you guys remember from the last episode, I did indeed pull Tyler Bass from one of my presents. Uh, he's better than Morton Anderson in my opinion, uh, so Tyler Bass is going to be the kicker. With it being said, you guys, we're going to go ahead and start a brand new head-to-head -head season. Once again, you guys, I'd like to uh, extend my, uh, my thanks to you guys for all the new subscribers. We've been picking it up a little bit over the past few days, so go ahead and keep it up. Whatever you guys are doing, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, it would mean the world to me. And uh, I'm not going to hold you up, let's go ahead and hop into our head-to-head -head seasons game. Hopping into the game, you guys, we are starting off at home, and man... He completely maxed out his defense on three players. I, I have not seen that all year. We, we have two Falcons in the top uh, top three. All my Falcons fans out there, you guys are probably loving that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, there, there's a good chance that I'll end up forgetting this, but I really want to try and start out every game I throw in a deep shot. This could end up hurting me down the line by doing this, but I think Diggsy might be open. Okay. Oh, I caught that. I, I did not think I caught that. I was just kind of, I was waiting. I was going to, you know, not put that in the video. I stopped my commentary. I'll take the first. I literally just watched the highlights of that. I do, I am so confused on how he caught that. All right. We should have Keenan Allen wide open on the, the cross post, whatever you want to call it, down to the three first down. I think he is a D-line user, so this is where I want to pull the read option. His uh, Von Miller did not bite, but the speed of the baby go is too fast. Touchdown, Herbie. Like I said, you guys, we were going to have Deion Jones as the user. And I, I'm just super pumped to see what he can do, but he's going to start it off in the run game. Edwin James, big time game. Third and five 
for my opponent. Uh, he's going to stay in single back. I'm expecting a run, and he actually does a quick pass to Julio for a first. I'm really expecting my opponent to be a, a very run first kind of guy. He's probably going to test that little curl. I knew exactly what he was going to. I just didn't play that very well. Edrin James looks absolutely gas in the backfield, but it is, it is actually a pass play. I'm expecting him to test the slam. It's not open. He runs with Russell Wilson, and he's going to get taken down, sacked by Daniil Hunter. Third and eight for my opponent. We are closing in at the end of the first quarter, and man, if that thing was on the money, that's, that's probably getting picked off. With my opponent being a uh, D-line user, as long as he's not getting any stupid, you know, bull rush animations, I'm hoping we're going to have a lot of time in the pocket, as man, Khalil Mack! Just absolutely shedded Trent Williams, but Herbert threw that thing under pressure in a dime. We're going to go with a run play here on first and ten. He's going to miss me with Geno Atkins, where he Moster got some room to run first down. He has been running cover three, so we're going to try and run a cover three beater as Keenan Allen is wide open in the seams. Touchdown, Slayer. Now that I have a nice 11-point lead, I think I'm going to start playing some man coverage, bring a couple blitzes, but clearly it's not off to a good start as he picks up a nice gain on first down. All right, my opponent's going to be running hurry up here, second and eight. He's going to stick in his strong formation, and he does pass it here. Thank you, he's going to test the slant. I knew that's exactly what he's going to go to. Deion Jones, he, if he got past Edron James, it's a house call, but I'll take the pick. If we can get one more touchdown here, I think this game is all but over. The Hunter Henry crossing pattern just gets over the head of Taylor Mays. Deion Sanders saves the touchdown, but we're down to the three-yard line. First and goal from the three-yard line. We're going to run some quick slants, and I think Calvin Ridley should be open back of the end zone. Oh, my God. That was just a predetermined read. God, i got to learn to start putting people away. All right, first and ten. I'm guessing he's going to do a little counter run. It's actually a play action. That's kind of shocked me that he did that, but, man, George Kittle burnt Devin McCourty, and he picked up a big game. Third and long for my opponent here. A minute left to play in the half. Hoping he tests something kind of dumb. I've got a quarterback spy, and he does test something stupid. Pat Pete, an interception for the Jack boys. Let's go. We got 50 seconds left to play in the half. I know he's running cover three, so I'm really hoping uh, Calvin Ridley can get open in the back or in the back of the field. So hopefully he finds a way to get open, as I don't think he does, but I'm going to play playmaker Stephon Diggs. Sideline catch? Yes, sir, baby. We've got ourselves a fourth and four, uh, 27 seconds left in the half. Uh, yeah, we should have Calvin Ridley actually wide open. Hold on to that thing. Call that timeout. First down. If I get the time here, either Keenan Allen or Hunter Henry, one, one of the two should definitely get open here. But like I said, I just need the time. Hunter Henry crossing pattern. It's going to be a tight fit, but Hunter Henry, absolute bullet from hers. And that's a touchdown from Hunter Henry. And he's actually going to quit off that. Honestly, I'm not too shocked getting down 18. Kind of uh, a killer. And uh, yeah, he is going to go ahead and leave. Peace out, my guy. Bye, have a great time. So, something definitely tells me that this is probably going to be a shorter episode. Now, every single time I say that, I feel like it never ends up being short. It's always like a, a it's, it's usually over like 11 minutes. But for some reason, like, I didn't have a very long intro. I didn't, the game wasn't very long. Who knows? Maybe it's actually like the right amount of length. But hopefully it is over like 10 minutes because that's usually what I aim for. Uh, but let me know down below, you guys, uh, what kind of zero chill players you would like me to pick up or players in general. There's definitely two players that I definitely want, but they're really expensive right now. So I'm kind of waiting for their prices to uh, go down. But other than that, I think I'm kind of chilling with the team right now. I really like how we're playing. Uh, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button for me. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And while you're down there, go ahead and, and uh, hit that bell notification to be notified for all future No Way Spent episodes. With the big city guys, it's been your boy and I'm out. Peace out, you guys.